Hey everyone, I'm going to go through a quick video for the Wolfpack Pro Signals. This is going to be just how I use them in my live trading, how I get the most out of them so that I'm not missing out on any signals. They're highly comprehensive and as well highly convenient. You don't have to clutter your charts with signals and I've also handpicked my very favorite signals that I'm using and that I've been most successful for. So the link is down in the description. It's patreon.com slash liquiddeity. And you gotta link your Discord to your Patreon in order to do that. I'll also include a quick tutorial link for that in the description below. But once you've set that up, uh, we can head over to the Discord. So the Signals group, these this is the link to the to the Patreon with a brief description of what they are, what to expect for the signals. I'm also adding in pretty shortly a daily trend finder. So you can quickly find where we are if we're consolidating, if we're in a clear uptrend or downtrend so that you get in to the correct direct direction. And these signals, when they pop off, they will give you a leg up in the market. So this is the on the Discord, on my Discord, which is the link is also down below. You can check it out, come through to the community. We have lots of people posting profit logs. We have tons of people sharing a, a bunch of resources. So come through down in the description and it's a great place to be. So the premium section, this is where you wanna be. The signal customizer is right here. So it's recommended to always perform your basic TA, but it's not the best thing to always be staring at the charts and nobody wants to sit all day at the charts. You really wanna get in at the key level and then have peace of mind when you're trading. So this is what I use for to build my confidence level. So I have all kinds of time frames. All of these took a very, very long time to or organize and develop. So in the Patreon, if you select any time frame, these are the one minute, three minute, five minute. I recommend if you're live trading, then it's good to have those lower time frame uh, alerts on. But it's not. It's not optimal if you're not at the chart because otherwise you'll get spammed. So I always keep the the high time frame alerts on. So if I go to my Discord role here, I've just selected the 12 hour, the daily, and if I if I don't want to have that on, I can just take it off and let's check it again. Now they're all gone. So you can with one click you can put them on. Oh, with one click you can take them off. So if I'm tr if I'm scalping, I'll have these on, but I don't want when I'm when I'm out and about. I don't want to get pinged on my phone for like one minute golden cross, right? That's only really when I'm active on the charts. But it's always good to have these these higher time frames. I would say like one hour and above, possibly three hour and above, if you're a what like a higher time frame trader. The it's always good to have the Bitcoin one, uh, ones enabled and the Ethereum ones as well are also very, very handy to have. And there's a bunch of other coins here. So if you like trading XRP, Cardano, ADA, uh, there's some great coins here. And there's, it, it, like I also put Do Dogecoin in uh, as well. And the Golden Cross on Dogecoin are have been highly successful. So I'll show you where these get filtered to. So you get you get pinged if you have this role. So uh, right now I have, let's go back here. Right now I have the Bitcoin 12 hour daily, the Bitcoin three hour role. So, and if I go into the Bitcoin high time frame signals, all of them are, are put here. So there's very few per day. There's, as you can see, August 20th here, there was only three. August 21st, there was only two. Uh, Today there was there's been a bunch, and these these are all bearish on the daily. So that is, you know, there's. It's it's really good to know if you're scalping, you could take trades, that, uh, in a bullish direction, but you have to know that the hammer is dropping down soon. So we know that all of these are very much in alignment, on the daily chart. If we if we go over to our Bitcoin chart, go to the daily chart, we can see. The, these alerts we got the the bear flag on the three hour 12 hour bear, bearish divergence and there's the the bitcoin daily here so we got a bear flag and bearish divergence on the daily and 
the daily right here, we got the bear flag right here. And we got this really, really strong trend line. So we've got our technical analysis, but we can see that we're starting to cool off here on the on the daily. And this red X, if if this prints at the end of today, we're going to get another signal and there will be a, a Bitcoin daily red cross. And those have often predicted some major, major dumps. So that's the macro, the macro perspective here. We've, we had strong buy signals coming in right here. We started seeing golden crosses on the daily. And right here was where we saw, if you, if you look closely, there's a faint bull flag right on this candle. And that was on July 21st. We could go back to our Bitcoin high time frame here, July 21st. If we go scroll back. There's the bull flag right there. And that was that was right right here. The very first signal. That was this candle. And that bull flag really took us and predicted the, the start of this entire pump upwards. So this is on 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 the daily we also have this pink RSI. This one showed up August 1st. We can go to August 1st. We'll scroll down. We got a bearish bearish flag on the 12 hour and at the same day we had the bearish pink RSI. So that's this alert right here that predicted the rest of this pullback. So that is the, the daily. We can go down to the 12 hour and we'll see we start forming that macro perspective. We have our trend lines here, this, this teal line that I've drawn in. We have seen bullish engulfing candles off this line multiple times. We had, we had one more here. And this one that is printing right now on the 12 hour is very close. As you can see, we'll go down to the one hour and let's, let's see this. We had a golden cross appear right here, right the candle before we had this bullish engulfing green candle here. But we also know that the higher time frame is starting to give. So that that is our if we're going to take a scalp here, this is what this would be an just an example of what I would be doing what I'm looking for here. I would be right there. It looked like we had some resistance coming in at this line, but we're above it now. And it's important for our one hour scalps and one hour and the lower time frame scalps that we remain above this line. I believe that since the higher time frames look starting to look bearish that we might creep along this line. But we're, we would look for a bounce for confirmation. If we see a bullish engulfing here, if we see a bull flag appearing on Wolfpack Pro, that is the the entry point. But if we crack down through this level, if we fail this, I bet we're going to tumble a lot more below this, these levels as well. If you keep in mind, we are towards the end of the month now and the pumps usually when we have really, really good bull markets, really, really good months, they will last all month. And then at the end of the month, everyone just dumps uh, their, their coins or their leverage. So the leverage traders will collect their profit in these kinds of areas. We might have just seen a peak up here. Let's go to the three hour chart. And right here at the top, we had we these bear flags have been signaling for a little while now. We had bearish divergence, we had a red cross. These were showing up all all last all the last couple days here. So that's how I'm looking at the macro and we, we want to apply that lens and when, when we look to the low time frames for our perfect entry points. So if I were a one hour trader, if I had my one hour alert set up, this is just a quick example. Right here we got the golden cross alert. We are close to this teal trend line, which if we go back to the, to the 12 hour, this teal trend line has been holding all the way since the July 20th. So we're right at that line now and we're starting to form this downward 
resistance. It's, it's important that we stay on top of this, but if we extend this outwards, that would be our resistance in the future, and we would likely come down to probably bounce at this these levels here. We would probably come down here if we reject down below through this line. That's the hypothesis, but we got to connect it into our our scalping trading. So let's look at the daily chart. Uh, this is the 12 hour chart. We see these big waves and they're coming down and we see big divergences, big divergences. This is three different divergences on the 12 hour chart. If I go back to the dump that we that we came out of uh, in April, we were seeing these lower highs. These peaks were getting smaller and smaller and smaller and then we just saw them completely dump. On the daily, you could really, really see this. This is what they look like. When you see on the high time frames, these peaks getting smaller and smaller and smaller, that's when it's time to get out. There's there If you draw a trend line here, we had this peak here. I call this a FOMO peak. That was the actual peak on around April 15th, April 16th. And then we collapsed. This FOMO peak, in my opinion, is a lot of the FOMO traders, they come in, all of the good investors have collected their profit in, in these areas here, and there's one last pump before it really, really dumps. So we might, we might end up seeing a FOMO peak coming in here. We might consolidate and bounce in this area. Again, like you can, if we're looking back here historically, Bitcoin came down, and we were going a little bit sideways for a few months there before we really, really took a massive tumble all the way from 60K down to 30K. And these are massive, massive dumps. People were getting demolished. This, this huge candle was a lot of traders getting liquidated. And we, we, if, we go, if we step up even to a higher time frame, we, we've seen on the three-day chart these golden crosses absolutely predicting this month that we've had this, these were this was a really really good month we came out of we have bull flag another bull flag and a third one here but this wave we want we would want to see this come up but if we go if we were to go to like the weekly chart we would actually likely see a divergence coming in on the weekly very very soon which is definitely not a good sign we could likely see a double peak coming in. So I'll get back into some scalp trades that we could be trading. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made in this kind of environment. So if we saw this golden cross come in on the one hour chart, if we're on the BTC signals, there's also Ethereum signals. We have higher time frame Ethereum signals. The scalp signals, as you see, there's there's tons of them. So if you're scalping, you're aware of every single scalp time frame uh, that I find relevant. And then there's all of the alt altcoin signals as well. So the, the important thing to, to keep in mind when you're scalping is the higher time frame. As that's why I've, I've emphasized this again and again. You have to keep the context, the environment you're in, in mind on the higher time frame so that you don't get sniped out by smarter traders, traders who have been doing this for a long, long time, who are very, very versed, and they can affect the market because they have a lot more money to, to dump. So this golden cross right here, printed right on this trend line, it actually printed on a red candle, but that doesn't matter because the, the momentum was coming up. Now, the perfect entry on this candle, I'll go in and I'll, I'll use the bar replay mode. Okay, there's, there's the emerald and then the bar after is the golden cross. So there's our golden cross, we're on the one hour. If we go down to the 30 minute, let's look what's happening here, what the environment is on the 30 minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly start zooming in we're right at the support line. We know that this is a critical area of support. We can also draw in a horizontal line right here. This is where we bounced last time, and we're on it here. So 
we have the golden cross on the hour we have the acceleration wave coming up on the 30 minute as well and we can we can just make notes of this we can write down golden cross on the one hour we can write down on the 30 minute we're we're at the support if we take this trade we can put a very very tight stop loss on this trade and not lose much at all right we're not we're not looking to over leverage this is the likely area to bounce if we put it safely below that possibly at the last last swing low if you want to be very conservative you could put place a stop loss just one ATR below this area here and if you're feeling a little bit more risky if you want to take a little bit higher leverage then this is the, the likely bounce point you want to you want to calculate the probability of each bounce point there's there's one here there's also another bounce point if we had a double bottom at this area so you if you're conservative you want to put your stop loss just below that you want to you want to take a trade with the correct trade size I'm sure you're all aware of how to do that if you're if you're not aware of that uh, just feel free to ask me in my in my discord we have a lot of good traders who can tell you how to calculate correct position sizes when entering trades uh, as well without getting faked out without getting, getting um, over leveraged how to manage your account really really well so we have the golden cross on the on the one hour we have the 30 minute we see that the main wave is coming up we have green RSI recently we have the acceleration wave still coming up now if we go down to let's say the 25 24 minute chart so we have a, a potential good trade to to get into here but we're gonna try to find the perfect area we would we would love to get in at this level here that's gonna be the tightest stop loss that's where we're anticipating a bounce and that is our trade mentality we want to get in we know the momentum's coming up but we're not just gonna buy exactly when you see a golden cross you wanna wait on the lower time frames to snake a perfect trade order so we can go down to our scalping time frames this is on the five minute chart we can just wait for that perfect moment we just had this really bearish engulfing candle and let's wait until that momentum starts picking up the acceleration wave on the five minutes coming down this peak is really coming down so if we go forward on the five minute we're just waiting we're waiting for that perfect moment and we're just looking to see this is the trend line here you can see this on the five minute chart this trend line is extending and we're really really close to this trend line so I'll just I'll, it's a, it's this dotted trend line here that's what I'm keeping an eye on and I'm I would anticipate it to curve up there and if we break that then we would expect this dump to be far far greater so it's it's great that we waited for uh, for this dump we 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 wanted to see the momentum start to curve up and there we have it there's a really strong bullish engulfing candle and the acceleration wave has come up as well and we're right at that area of support this would be an excellent entry point on the five minute if we are on the three minute or the one minute we could we could actually get a little bit better let's drop down here on the three minute this right here was the, the acceleration wave started coming up even earlier for an earlier trade right there and we see a bunch bunch of bullish candles on the one minute let's see what that looks like we have the bull flag we have the teal rsi that is a really good sign and so we want to make notes of on across multiple time frames this is how i i manage my trades Mul we have, take notes on multiple time frames we already took notes of the one hour the higher time frames and we slowly stepped down so we knew that we had the golden cross on the one hour on the 30 minute the acceleration was coming up we stepped it down on the 15 minute on the five minute three minute one minute these time frames right here on this teal rsi that was the 
best possible entry and you can't always get that uh, get the best possible entry but a few candles after that we had a faint bull flag print and if we had all of the scalping alerts on it's automatically going to give us all of these relevant signals on these time frames giving us as soon as you get a ping write it down and you want to calculate uh, you want to get in when you have a, a, a medium to long-term bias like the one hour golden cross then you come down to the lower time frames and get snipe that perfect entry and on the one minute here we see this bull flag this pink RS, or teal RSI that is a very very oversold position and we would anticipate a rebound and if you're not if you're not sure then you you would see that that RSI on the one minute and as soon as we see the acceleration wave like possibly on the three minute start to come up right that was this candle here not the perfect entry but if you get in here this is still before the pump and I again if if you're a five minute chart trader you would see this bullish engulfing candle this would be your entry point right here because you just see that the acceleration wave is coming up and if we go forward here if our entry on the lowest time frame was in this lower area or here regardless if we go forward there we go and we also have the emerald coming in the the candle after that is an, an excellent trade and the we can see that we had a huge huge pump here the acceleration wave starts coming down and we just we just have a beautiful trade we have more trigger waves coming in we and we've got the red X there on the five minute chart all of these signals are filtered through the discord it's really really convenient otherwise if if you like having them on your chart they they will pop up you can't turn them off uh, unless you want to disable all of your notifications all at once so the signals are about forty dollars and they often can pay themselves pay themselves off in one trade and they give you a lot of flexibility with enabling uh, enabling your trading when you're at the chart versus off the charts you won't get overloaded and these are cataloged in in a, in a great great succession I've made I it took a long time to come up with the concept and build this trading system I'm building this out I have higher tiers as well if you want to sign up for some of the higher tiers I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well you want to sign up for that then let me know and send me a dm i try my best to get back to all of you guys and thank you for participating thank you for watching the full video guys i hope this was incredibly helpful for you and come through to the discord there's a lot of traders coming in and we're building a really collective community here that everybody gets help everyone is getting taught uh from, from the very basics all the way up to the more advanced topics. So thank you guys again, and I'll catch you in the next video.